Hi, today's topic is Introduction to Neuroanatomy. The nervous system is divided into the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system consists of the brain and the spinal cord, whereas the peripheral nervous system consists of the sensory unit and the motor units. The sensory unit is divided into special part and the general part. The special part or the special sensations are olfaction, vision, and the general sensations are touch and pain. The general sensations are divided into somatic sensations or the sensations from the superficial parts of the body and locomotor systems, example touch, pain, proprioception, and the visceral sensations uh, such as the pain of distension or dull pain from the viscera. The motor unit is further divided into the somatic motor responses and the autonomic motor responses. The autonomic motor responses are further divided into the sympathetic and the parasympathetic responses. The two major cell types of the nervous system are the neurons and neuroglial cells, uh, which are the connective tissue of the nervous system. Some terms, the gray matter, uh, these are cell body collections in the CNS, whereas the white matter, it, it refers to the axon collection in CNS. Some of you all may get confused between the nerve and white matter. So nerves are collection of uh, axons outside the CNS, whereas white matter are collections of axons inside the CNS. The nervous system is also divided structurally. Uh, the CNS, it consists of two parts, the gray matter and the white matter. Uh, the gray matter, uh, it consists of the cortex, or it can also consist of the nucleus. The cortex uh, refers to the collection of gray matter on the surface of the CNS, while as um, uh, this nucleus, it refers to collections of gray matter in deeper parts of the CNS. There are three types of uh, white matter. First uh, is the tracts, which have a cephalic to caudal connection, example, the ascending and the descending tracts. Uh, second type is the commissural fibers, which have a major role in the right and left connection, example, the corpus callosum. And third is the association fibers from front to back connection, example, is the association fibers of the cerebrum. The major differences between the nerve and tracts are, uh, number one, Nerves are found outside the CNS, whereas tracts are found in the CNS. Nerves are made up of Schwann cells, whereas tracts are made up of oligodendrocytes. Reticular formation is present in the deeper parts of the brain stems. Uh, here, the gray and white matters are mixed. The basic parts of the brain are the forebrain or the prosencephalon, uh, the midbrain or the mesencephalon, uh, the brain stem or the rhombencephalon or the hindbrain, um, which consists of the pons and the medulla and the spinal cord. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.